I want to welcome you all to the uh, Berkeley interviews. Uh, today we've got a great guest. Um, as all of you probably know, probably the greatest bass trombonist to ever play trombone is he's been called uh, the John Coltrane of the bass trombone. Whistler. Um, some people have said that when he plays, it's almost like uh, God's talking to them. Um, he's also cured the common cold. He helped develop the atom bomb, and right now he's working a new piece, a world piece, and feeding the uh, poor and homeless. So I'd like to welcome uh, now uh, Tony Wingate. Thank you so so much for having me. It's great to be here. So, uh, Tony, um, I know you went to Berkeley College of Music, and you had an incredible experience there. Um, it's kind of the reason why we've asked you to come in today. Um, I guess for starters, how did you find out about Berkeley College of Music? You know, that's a great question. Um, I was at a jam session in uh, Beverly Hills, and I was all set to go to uh, Cal State Northridge, and um, this guitar player says to me, uh, yeah, I go to the school, uh, the girls are ugly, the weather's awful, the food sucks, but it's the most intense music environment you could possibly come across in your entire life, and I said to him, you wouldn't catch me dead there part of the college experience is the girls. And uh, he looked at me like I was an idiot. And <laughs> one week later, I was on a plane to Boston. So when you got there, I assume, being from California, there must have been some culture shock, some, you know, uh, it must have been a crazy to adjust to. Oh, you have no idea. I left Malibu wearing a tank top and a pair of Bermuda shorts and a pair of flip-flops. Left LAX, it was 80 degrees in December. Got to Boston, it was about 10 degrees. The snow drifts were about waist high. Um, and I, I couldn't believe it. I'd never seen anything like that before. It was freezing cold. but. Uh, you know, it's not like I went to Boston for the surfing. I was there for the music. I know you were in the Dues Band, which is uh, the most prestigious band there at the school. Um, you were also in, I believe, Studio Orchestra, the Buddy Rich Band they have there, the Count Basie Band. Um, I know you played with uh, some very interesting people there. Maybe you'd like to tell us a little bit about that. Uh, some of the best experiences of my life at Berkeley College of Music and to have the opportunity to be in a band and play nothing but Buddy Rich charts straight from Buddy Rich's book and to have a teacher from Buddy Rich's band um, or I was in another group um, small jazz combo with uh, Steve Grossman who had worked with Miles um, I mean, uh, of course the Dues Band with Phil Wilson, Flip as we called him, uh, he, that was just, you know, it's hard for me to put into words. Um, the best. <coughs> just honest. Let me ask you this then. Um, if you were going to talk to a high school kid and you were going to convince him to go to Berkeley as opposed to say USC or Northridge or North Texas State or Juilliard, Oberlin, uh, University of Miami. Why Berkeley? You know for me, and I think I can speak for all my friends who I made at that school and all the people who I played with who are now so successful, um, Berkeley doesn't teach you music. Berkeley teaches you how to be a musician. Uh, couldn't speak highly enough about that place. It was without a doubt the best 
time in my life. I, I learned so much there, and uh, I think anyone who has the opportunity to go to Berkeley is very, very lucky, and they're in for the time of their life. Room, which means it's the end of the interview, but I do want to thank you for your time here, and uh, B flat or C sharp, or C sharp or B flat, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for the interview.